For me, this is where it began. Dungeon Master. They originally didn't look at that. This is the updated version of Dungeon Master, basically. It all began with Apple IIe. Or, I mean, no, I mean the Atari IIe. Sorry, or the Atari. Sorry. Um, technically, I owned Atari. Uh, and I forget. It's a, it's, it's a, what's it called? It's a Japanese something, something, something company. Anyway, technically, I, I own a Atari. But it all began with my brother and me and me saying, well, can't you just do like slides and like, you know, you get closer and and it just uses, uses like a table, you know, and like a spreadsheet or something. Like I didn't know exactly how to do it myself. I was just asking my brother if it was possible. And anyway, though, a couple years later, uh, this pops out. That's a cute little thing. They have little they they have little things on the ground. You have a little cursor, which it's one it's one of the first games that actually used the mouse or the cursor, for, because the Atari came with a mouse, I believe, which is something that the IBM's nor uh, nor nor the Apple had actually was the mouse. Anyway, and you had a couple little things. It's basically based on Dungeon Master, the um, the game, pretty much, and it just uses slides. You get closer and then further. It just uses slides for for the different rooms, and it's very very rudimentary and very simple. And there's like little monsters and stuff like that, and you have have very little rudimentary little graphics for that and that. Very simple, very easy to run. Uh, my brother used to get mad at me because I used to accidentally bump the the ten megabyte hard drive. Yeah, the hard drive contained ten megabytes of information. Yep. <laughs> and we had a 50 megabyte hard drive too <laughs> and it was like $200, $300, anyway ridiculous anyway though but technically I own Atari as, uh, as basically L Lucifer Star uh, my real name anyway though it gets all complicated in that I'm Brian and yet I am also Lucifer Star the owner of America. Anyway, though, I asked my brother if he could do some things. Oh, yeah, we just took damage. Ah! Anyway, I love my brother very, very much. He was a wonderful, wonderful person. People talk about Wolfenstein Stein being the first. No, no. And before this, there were just spreadsheets and no graphics. Um, that would that would say, like, you take 30 damage. Um, what do you wish to do? <laughs> and it's just like text. This is actually a simpler thing, but kind of works on the same thing as the old uh, text games. It's like, you come... <laughs> no, I, in the old days, they would just describe it. Like, like, like you say, search, and it would say, there's an apple on the ground, or there's blah, blah, blah on the ground, or something like that. And it would have te it all in text, and this is more of a visual kind of thing. Um... The first games, or the first uh, uh, Dungeon Master games, basically were like spreadsheets where you say, "I uh, you enter the enter the cave, blah blah blah," and it was kind of cool and kind of fun, but you had to use your imagination a lot. This lets you not have to use imagination, not so much. And I love this game quite a bit, and played it for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and it was really cool. And this would be the precursor to Castle Wolfenstein and all those others. Anyway. I don't think it did all that well, but it was like super simple, you know, like like little cheesy graphics. Well, I mean, they're very good for for the time. Um, I mean, considering it would basically be like fans basically doing this, considering the the, the, the team that actually created this, which wasn't all that many people. Um, the the Atari was the most most was the hardest part. You know, as you can see, you get little scrolls and you can read them by clicking on the eye. It's so cool. I hope my brother had something to do with it. I don't know. I don't know who designed it or or how it was designed, but I told my asked my brother if it was possible before before it ever came out, and then it came out a few years later. But then again, like I say, I'm Lucifer Star. Anyway, yes, and. Fast forward, and this is its big brother. Basically nowadays, Red Dead Redemption 3. But that was 1970-something, 1980. 1970-something. 
So as you can see, oh, it's dark. Light a torch. Have to light the torches. Or cast a fireball. There you go. Look, he's about to cast a fireball. Ruin symbols. Oh no, cast a light spell. He casted a light spell. That's right. And put in the tor torch. And the torch makes it brighter. Mm. Anyway, yeah, just basically, it's basically just slides and um, and stuff. It's super simple. Ah, oh, there's a zombie. <laughs> And through the wood. It's gonna get you. <laughs> and about a billion dollars later, and you have this. But yeah, that was this was the first. This is the whole game. Oh, look, there's a secret panel there. Sometimes. Sometimes not. So anyway, but yeah, that's Dungeon Master. Um, yes, he's secret little thingy. It's a sword! Ooh. Anyway, they all have different attributes and all that. There's only like three or four characters. But this is where a video game started about. Well, actually, no. A video game started before this with just text. And then they went from here to this. Big difference there, but also in the gaming system too. It turns out that just playing video games is profitable. In the old days, everybody said, no, 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 it's military or, 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 or company or financial. There's no market for video games. They're a waste of time. No one's going to play them. Not true at all. Anyway, about a billion dollars later, and one hell of a huge market. Oh, a switch! And close it soon enough, it comes. Key. Boots. You can upgrade the shoes. <laughs> so amazing, right? But this is the start of um, of basically this right here. So this sold. I think I forget how much this was. Twenty dollars or ten dollars or something like that. Five dollars. I don't know. It's a little bit of money. I'm not exactly sure. I don't even know who 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 wrote it. Let's see your food. Gulp water. Gulp. Full satchel. I miss my brother so much. He sucks that he died of cancer. So anyway. Twilight. My brother! Me! I'm uh, Brian, also known as Lucifer Star. So, anyway, yes, I am the person who designed the American government and also wanted video games and thought of cute little ways of doing it and then I guess people went and did it. I don't really know considering who I am. And it gets all complicated. So anyway, the uh, Atari um, game console or computer. They could do either or. So. And I don't think it really had a real graphics card. And as you can see it's also color. And it also came with a mouse, or it, or it, or it was uh, it was able to use a mouse. Um, the, the the IBMs and the Apples actually had to have a mouse added, where the Atari was meant to actually use the mouse from the beginning. It was part of the operating system and part of the part of the part of the way it worked. So, although you could use it without a mouse, but the Atari was actually the one with with the mouse. Um, all everything was going to be designed to work with the mouse. So there's a trap door. He has to put something on the trap door. Anyway, but that's Dungeon Master. Yes, and like I said, the Atari was what, what was meant to work with the um, with the mousey, you know, the little mousey the roll around kind of thing. So 
And that game was designed, of course, to be to use a mouse.